I've watched four full games now, and he shot a total of six free throws. He's three of six from the free throw line. That's what's troubling to me because there is no attack mode to him at all. He goes and stands in the corner. I see flashes on defense. I, I don't see lockdown. I don't see defensive demon just yet. Mm -hmm. But, man, it got so bad at the end of the half last night that he did get a pretty wide open look, a corner three. And this, this has got to be his bread and butter, man, because yeah, this, this is what he was born to do. And he gets and he goes up and he shot it with authority and it hit nothing but net because it ticked the bottom of the net. It, it was just a straight on air ball. And when he shot it, it, it looked like he thought it, it was pretty good. It, like he held the pose for a second, like, I think I got that one. And when you're that short, now you're really in a slump. Well, you, yeah, you, I mean, his confidence not yeah, there. No confidence. No confidence okay. right now. You can see I've seen it in the last game, though. Yeah. And then... I was surprised they put him back in the game. He went back in with five minutes left in the game, and it was just straight garbage time. And fortunately for him, he got put in a situation where the clock was going 5 4 3 2 1, the shot clock. And so you just got to go. And if we could see the shot he made, it, it got contested. He, it was a good shot because the, the kid got up in him. Um, I don't know if you remember that kid, Drew Peterson. He played at your school. Mm -hmm. At USC. Yeah. yeah. And he's 6'9", and it was a pretty good contest. So I was thinking of the irony of Drew Peterson. Okay, so at USC, Drew Peterson was back-to-back -back first team all-conference. That's pretty good, you yeah, know. That's good. And, and guess what? He didn't get drafted. Yeah. Because he's just okay. And he wound up playing with the main Celtics in the G League the last couple of years. So he just fighting for his life out there. Yeah. And so... Here's this USC kid who was pretty good at USC, and he's contesting Bronny with four minutes left, and Bronny's making his first bucket of the night to score two points. Well, that, that's, that's the G League. Mm -hmm. So you, you step back from it, and you say, man, I, to, to your point, you, what, what have we seen? What, what, what have we seen in the big picture? In four, it, it's just four summer league games, but it is four. Yeah. We just... We haven't seen a whole lot. Is that fair? We just haven't no, seen no, a whole lot. That's no. where I am. It, 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 yeah. it, it's fair. It just it's 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 I don't know, man. It's painful. It's painful. It's painful to yeah. talk about yeah. Bronny in in this particular light because even though going into this situation, Skip and Paul, there was always the naysayers or the people that felt like he wasn't ready. But because such high regard for his dad, his family, his agent, everybody, I'm one that gonna give him the benefit of the doubt into such due time that I can't anymore. Just that's just the way I operate. And so it's painful to see that he's not, he hasn't gotten there to give me just a little bit of a glimpse of what he could possibly be. Just hadn't given me anything. When I'm looking at air balls being shot. But then the initial press conference, I got Rob Palinka selling me on something me about D D and D, 3 and D, and I got J.J. Reddick, and I'm like, okay, well, they're there. They see it up close in person. But then all I do is see what I saw <laughs> a while ago. It makes me, you know, it's just like, what else am I going to say? I agree. So back to Jalen Brown's tweet. <laughs> it had two key words in it. Bronny has the tools around him yeah. to succeed. Not okay. the tools to succeed. If you around. just said tools to succeed, I'd say, okay. Yeah, around him to succeed. <laughs> tools so around him to around. succeed. But I've been saying that, though, Skip. Well, and that that's mean? a fact. I said it. Let's see. And I know what Paul is saying, but let's see if I can get four Paul Pierces on the court with him. There you go. And not these Skip Baylesses and Keyshawns. Hey, hey, if you get four Paul Pierces on the court with him, he's not touching the ball. No, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm talking about top dudes that played all-star. that be a good thing. NBA guys is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Let's see what he looks like <laughs> in training camp preseason with the big dogs, mm -hmm. not a bunch of guys that's going back overseas into the G League, possibly, and other teams. Let's see what he looks like I think, I think with the him, Lakers. I think for him, he, he needs to be on the ball. I mean, he's the smallest guy out there. I mean, when I locked, I was telling you, when I watched the game, I was like, man, he, he the smallest guy on the court. He got to be able to bring the ball up. You know what I'm saying? If you're asking him to pressure on, on defense, he got to be able to initiate the offense. Now, I'm not asking him to be this great playmaker, which he's not. You know what I'm saying? Look at, for example, Pat Beverly. 
Pat Beverly brings the ball up. He does. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he'll pass it, initiate the offense, go to the corner. But I like my I like for him to bring the ball up, initiate it, maybe do an L cut, come off the uh, screen. Just more movement than the smallest guy on the court standing yeah. in the corner. The other example, uh, Grand Theft Auto, Alvarado, down there in uh, Grand Theft. Uh, down there in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. You know, he'll bring the ball up, he'll he pressure. Yeah. You know, and then, but you gotta understand those guys too, when they first came in the league, they couldn't hit shots. They couldn't hit shots. It was very inconsistent from outside. Then they developed that. Now you see Pat Beverly hitting more jumpers. You see Alvarado knocking down some shots now. But I would like to see him on the ball a little bit more. Maybe put him in some pick and roll situations just to see if he can make some plays. Now, his game is not one-on-one. -on -one. We haven't seen him break down a defender no. and get to the basket yet. The one layup I saw him get was off the dribble handoff, wow. sliced down the middle. Like, so yeah, put him in more movements. Let's see what he can do. He's a role player. We're, we're asking him to do star things when he's a, a role player. Like, can he be, beat his man off the dribble? Can he create his own shots, which we've seen him do? do. Every NBA player at some point can just get a, get a bucket at some point, create a dribble, but that's not their game. But isn't You, you know what but, I'm saying? But isn't he doing the role player things, though, by going and standing in the corner waiting for him to kick? Isn't that a role There's player There's no thing? movement. Like, put him on, like, let him slash. Let him cut. Let him set a screen. You know what I'm saying? And I also would like for him to be more active on long rebounds. You know, I saw one of the greatest guard rebounders ever in Rondo. Yeah. Rondo's about he the was. same height. Yeah. It is. He is. Rondo yeah. is about 6'2". Yeah. You know, but Rondo can get you 15 rebounds. Now, I'm not asking Bronny to do that. Mm. But you can push more energy into that. That, that's, that has a lot to do with effort. You know what I'm saying? So there's other parts of the game to where he can show with his effort that can kind of magnify and over-exceed his ability to not have the long arms or the ultra super athleticism or the height but out I there. I think he has long arms. Huh? He, he does. Long arms. He does. He, he yeah, has long arms. Well, like I said, the effort, energy has to be some things that can just kind of like minimize his size out there to make it look a little more extraordinary. Yeah. Like Beverly looks a lot taller than he is because of the way he plays. Alvarado, like Rondo, is a lot bigger than That's he true. really is because of the way he plays. The way he moves around. Yeah. High energy, hustle face. Yeah. I, I mean, I, just, I like your Beverly analogy. I'm a big fan of his. Yeah. But when he steps on the floor... He has a presence. It looks like he's going 1,000 miles an hour. <laughs> you and, like and, that. And he's all over whoever he's guarding. He's up in him. He, he's almost exaggerated getting up in him. And, and Bronny yeah. has tried to do some of those things, but they keep slipping by him. They slip by, yeah. And I don't see the consistent ultra effort where I say, boy, he's a dog, you know, like he, he just won't stop. He, mm -hmm. He's got a high motor. Right. I haven't seen high motor. That's a skill set. It is. That's a skill set, Skip. Yeah, and yet <laughs> it, we're talking about kind of a weird game here because he's not a ball handler at six one and a half. He's a wing. No, you don't have to have great handle. Okay. He's good enough ball handle. I've seen. He is. He's, no, he's he good enough to bring to get yeah. the ball up the court without. You know, he got stripped a couple times. Yeah, but like, but you got to you got to work on that. Let, let put him in that situation. Summer league. Put him in that situation. Now look, he's it's gonna, be, it's a, it's he's gonna be there. That's the thing. He's he's gonna be there. He signed the contract. He's gonna be on the team. So now put him in a situation to where he can develop and learn. Put him. So what if he's not that great bringing the ball up? All right, we're gonna bring it up this summer. Let, let's work on that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna work on that in, in, in a pickup game or, 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 or in practice when you're not gonna practice half the year. Let's put him in the summer league and let him make all these mistakes right now. And then that's how you learn. That's how I learned growing up. I played against older kids to where I was getting dominated, but I had to learn. Mm -hmm. And that's how you get better. Well, he's, he, he is learning. I mean, you could tell, you could tell that whatever it is, the stress, the whatever, the non-confidence, that it's there. You can look at it and tell. Unsure Agreed. when to shoot, yeah. stepping out of bounds now that, now twice. That's, now, that's one thing you, you can know. never let go. It's twice mm -hmm. in the game he stepped out of bounds. Twice he stepped out of bounds. So all of that is a lot going on. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's 19 years old. This is the first time he's been on this type of stage, even yeah. though family name is a big stage, but this is the yeah. first time individually that he's been on a massive stage like this. And don't underestimate he's having the Caitlin Clark effect in Las Vegas because every game he steps on the floor, they're selling out the Thomas and Mack 
mainly because well, he's the biggest draw in the summer. Well, the I don't even know who else Skip, that's in the, the only, draft. That's the only game I'm watching. Summer. Yeah, exactly. It's the only. I, one. I, I don't even watch. I'm not even watching no other games. I tried yeah. to watch the Portland game. Couldn't really get into it. The game before. Yeah, yeah. I was like. Yeah, not interested. I, I checked out the Hawks because they took that Reese with the first yeah. pick, and I wanted to see him. Oh, yeah, I saw the number one you know and two picks match up. You know up. what? They they matched up, and they both look pretty good. Yeah, they look basic. But in summer league, you you, you, you just look for flashes. Yeah. And with Reese Ashe, I, I, I'm i saying, oh, oh, he did that. And he did, yeah. oh. Because he went right up from three and right away. ripped a couple, and you're like, okay, okay, I got yeah, it. Yeah, that's all I, yeah, yeah. you want to see that. And then I'm good. Then, yeah, then yeah. I already need to watch him again. Right, <laughs> right. right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, enough of that. We'll get back to Bronny in just a moment here. Hard to talk about. Need to see more. Same goes for Team USA, because they nearly blew a game to little old Australia? Really? Josh Beauty?